Hey guys, welcome back to our repair guys. Today we're working on the Land Rover Discovery 2 right here at the shop and we'll show you how to remove intake. If you need to remove or replace the whole intake on it, upper intake, we'll show you how to do that. We need to do engine replacement, so we need to pull the engine out and for that we'll need to remove the intake. Stay with us, we'll show you how to do that now and please subscribe. Let's grow the channel together. Alright guys, first what we need to do, we need to unhook the cables for the throttle and the cruise control. All we have to do, hold it like that, put the cable on the side. Okay, one more there. And you can let go. After that, we will need to disconnect them from here. Okay, so this nut right here, we're gonna get it loose, and this one as well. Okay, let's see now. This one is spinning, so we need to get a second 13 millimeter on this side, so we can hold it. Okay, like that. Once it gets loose, you can pull it out of there. We'll need to unscrew that nut all the way until the end here, you'll see why. And you need to make sure you install them the same way you had them before, otherwise your idle and cruise will be off. Okay, you can see, like that, and we can pull it out. You need to make sure you know which one is which. The outside one is for the cruise control, the one that we just removed, and the other one is for the for the gas pedal, for the throttle action. So the same procedure here too. We'll just pull it out like that. Okay, perfect. So guys, we need to remove that hose. This one, what you need to do, on the bottom there is the same tap like on top, you press on those and you pull it out. Okay. Like that. Let me show you now. This is the thing right here, you need to squish both of those in and pull it out. It's really inconvenient but it's doable. This hose right here on the bottom, you just need to, it's a vacuum hose I believe. You need to pull it out as well. This one just, you need to help it with the screwdriver, those get stuck sometimes. Okay, and it came out. Now here we need to disconnect the wires. Right here, you push in the metal clip and pull the wires out. Same thing down there. And now we're going to pull that vacuum out of the way so we can remove the intake later. We need to go to the other side. And we have a few more hoses. This red thing needs to go all the way in and then you can pull the hose out. Never try to pull it out, it's not gonna work. We need to remove that vacuum hose on this side. And there was another little vacuum hose that's missing. So you need to, you need to see where that one comes from. And here we have a problem. That's why the engine was overheated. There was a leak from the throttle body. There is two hoses with coolant. Okay, one of them is plugged up. You can see right here. So we'll need to remove those two. Unfortunately, we will not be able to show you, but it's pretty simple, just disconnect two hoses. We need to get that clamp loose here. This is on the intake hose. And this one is not easy to pull, to be honest with you. Especially if it's cold, it's not very flexible. So, We'll just mess with it a little bit and it will come out. Alright guys, we need to remove that wire. You need to pull that thing towards the outside and pull the wire out. <coughs> Next, we'll need to remove uh, two more bolts right here so we can remove that hose out of the way and get to the bolt underneath it. Okay, just like that. You can see we're going to gain more room now. Let me come a little bit on this side so you can see a little bit better. We're going to install the bolt so we don't forget what they are about. 
and trying to find them later. So with the 10 now. Okay, we remove those bolts now. You can see how long they are. Okay, we forgot to finish that hose. So it's loose now, that's fine, perfect. So there is one hidden bolt now, guys. It's right there. Okay, you can see. Where the socket is. Okay, you can see how hard it is to see that ball there. And it's pretty tight. So we'll go ahead and take it off. Another hidden bolt. Okay, stay with us, we're gonna show you where it is. So Remember this one that we just removed on the front? There is the same thing towards the back, right there. Okay, so six bolts holding the intake, upper intake towards uh, lower intake. And we forgot to mention guys, you will have to drain the coolant so you don't make a mess. Never touch coolant with your hands. There is a drain plug on the bottom, uh, we'll cover it in another video because we already did that. So now we'll need to remove this one with 8mm socket here. So we can pull, okay this one towards the side now. So with pliers we'll need to remove that clamp there for the holes, that's why you need to drain the coolant. Okay so we can pull that hose out of there. Now this pipe right here, there is a bolt on the bottom with a 10 millimeter right there. It's kind of like fishing, yes, trying to catch it. So we'll need to go ahead and remove that so we can put the pipe on the side. Otherwise it will be practically impossible to remove the upper intake. Not as easy as you think. So again guys, check out our website Mechanic Lifestyle, there will be more videos, more information, list of tools we used, where to buy them. Okay, and now you can see it's going to come out of there this way. It's still stuck, okay. It came loose and now we can pull it out. We have two ground wires towards the back but I believe we can do those once we pull the intake towards the front so we have more room to do that. Alright let's see what else we have holding sometimes we forget things too. Okay here you have to be careful to pull that thing out. Okay, it came. Now we need to disconnect the two ground wires with the 8mm that I told you about. Okay, removing one of the ground wires and you can see that's the intake gasket. Make sure you install a new gasket after every removal to make sure everything's fine. Otherwise, if you leak air, it will be a big mess. You can idle really high, the car may not even start. Second one is right here. Do not forget to install those ground wires. Okay, this one is out as well. Okay guys, intake is out, this is the gasket, now you need to put something to cover here, otherwise if you drop something, it might end up going to the valves. And you do quite a bit of disassembly to get to it, so just make sure you cover the holes. 
so that's how you guys remove the intake you can see the whole thing is out of the way now we have more videos how to do injector replacement how to do fuel rail replacement how to do ignition co and cables replacement uh, wires uh, spark plug wires as well please subscribe guys help us grow that channel together be part of it let us know what you think and see you next time